Yo, what's good, everybody? What's happening? Today, I'm out with my big homie. We got Clayton out here. We out in some foreign, far off land. Something you've never seen. We got lily pads like crazy. Clayton already gets started. We are in the smallest boat I have ever seen in my life. We real tight up in here, but he rocking with the pompadour first thing this morning. So we starting off with the top water. I don't know what we're gonna be throwing today. We probably gonna throw a menagerie of stuff, but it's early. I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna start fishing. Let's go. You on one. Skinny mini. Oh, it's a nice one. That's probably the biggest of the day right there. Yeah. Ooh wee. Yeah, that's the biggest of the day. All right, Clayton. About to fall in the water. Let me go like that. <laughs> Want me to hold the rod for you and you, you get the fish? Oh yeah, he's on camera. You want a picture? You sure? I'm good. You guys already know what's about to happen now. See that bad boy right there? I'm gonna throw this 75 on here and see how they like this 75 out here. Uh-oh, Clayton hooked up with another one. In the top of the head, he's foul hooked. Nice. There he is. Seventy five. Oh, God, man. Where did it go? Yeah, it was a good one. That's what I was talking about, the hookup ratio on this thing sucks, man. That was a good one, dude. He was a good one. Oh my God. Throw your worm in there, hurry up. Throw your boot tail in there. That was a nice one, dude. That was the best one of the trip so far. Huh. Clayton went back in there and the boot tail and prevail for him. So I don't, I don't, that definitely won't the same fish dog. His mouth was way bigger than that. But that's what I'm saying. The problem is with that 75 guys. I, I know I had that fish hooked up, but, and <laughs> he, he smashed it. He blew up on it. I set the hook. The hooks went down inside, I'm still missing somehow, so I'm definitely thinking about taking these hooks off and changing them out to a little bit bigger hook maybe just on the back, because I swore I had that fish. That had to be the biggest fish of the day. But me and Clayton, we're gonna keep rocking. We got lots of time on this little small pond. We been caught about 10, 15 fish already. So we're just gonna keep going. You guys keep rocking out with us. Let's get it. Is it good? <laughs> it's a fish. Say that again. It's a what? It's a fish. Oh, okay. There we go. Dinks today, guys. We rocking with the Dink Squad. It's better than catching nothing. It is, yeah. You happy? What? Look at that smile. Clayton pulling him out, looking at me, smiling, boy. Look what I'm doing to you. I'm smashing you. Hulk smash. No. <laughs> I hope so. 
That's what I'm looking at. Uh, anyway. <laughs> There's got to be a big one sitting somewhere around here. Ooh, we. Nice one. He smashed that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty decent one right there. That's probably the second biggest of the day. There you go, another little pounder. Fish on. Oh, he got me wrapped up. Dang. He's gone. He's gone. Dang. First one of the weightless fluke guys. All right, guys. So what we've been doing, or well, what I've been doing for the past hour or so is just throwing that white fluke right on the top of the pads and just using it like a top water bait. And as soon as it gets off a pad, I'll just let it die down under that pad and slowly die and most of the time it's a fish on it. If not, they're hitting it as soon as it hits the water and I keep it on the top of the water, just give it a few jerks, keep it up high, and they coming and hitting it. So I'm gonna keep on rocking out with that. Clayton back there, he's been a little quiet now, but he's throwing a little trick worm. He's throwing a trick worm, June bug color. So we're gonna keep rocking out for another 45 minutes or so, see if we can get us a toad in the boat. You guys just stay tuned, keep rocking with us. Whoa. Dang. Oh, you shaking the boat, I didn't know. Uh, I, what you was about to say? I was just adjusting. Huh? I was just adjusting the way I was sitting. What else was you about to say, though? I don't say anything. Whatever, y'all. Let's keep getting after it. <laughs> oh. Weightless loop, guys. Nice one. Nice little dinkster. Smashed the weightless fluke. Barely. Barely got him in the boat. But you see, guys, that weightless fluke, I just told you about it. There you see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. That weightless fluke, guys. Weightless fluke, buddy. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Thing hanging out the side of the gill. On the weightless fluke, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Yes, sir, guys. On that weightless fluke, buddy. Came up and annihilated it. There's a nice one. That's a real nice one. Stay down, stay down. No, it's best. He's just a fighter. Yes, sir. A little nice one. On the weightless fluke. Fluke putting in some work. Oh. 
Ooh, <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. He literally came out and, <laughs> yo, that was bananas. That was bananas, yo. I saw him eat this flute. I saw him come from under the pad and eat it. That was cool. Little dinkster, dinkster, but he wanted this fluke. Look, the fluke, almost as big as this dude. Very ambitious of you, little little guy. Nice. All right, so it went down today, guys. We caught a whole bunch of fish. I think Clayton smoked me for real. I don't know, because he was going in. He was catching like back-to-back -back ones for real. And they were back-to-back, -back, but I, I don't think you were far from me. I don't know. It really doesn't matter, guys. I know we went out here. We had fun. Caught a lot of fish. Um, the thing that was most successful for me today was just taking that weightless fluke and throwing it up in the pads and letting it kind of dart around inside the pads and nine times out of ten one will come and hit it so if you guys haven't tried that yet definitely go try that out it is an awesome way to catch fish because um, that fluke is just so versatile man you can use it in so many different situations i really enjoyed myself today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new to the channel go ahead smash that subscribe button right now and hit the little bell notification so you will not miss anything that I post fishing related to my channel. And it's only one thing left to say. Keep them lines wet because it's all about the hooks here. You dig? Yeah. What you mean, Clayton? You don't like that? Huh? It wouldn't be bad if it was mud. It is mud. It looks like mud. Cause they just finished cutting the grass. All right, I think I can hop out now. Muddy feet. Hmm. Hmm. No, you hold your legs off or something. 